We're in October and it's time for another garden update. We've had a hot August, a hot September, and a hot October so far. And next week it's going to turn back to closer to normal for this time of the year. And frost is coming soon, so the garden will be done in a week or so, more than likely. I need to harvest the beets, some lettuce, some parsley, and some beans out of the green stock planter. When I planted a lot of this stuff, it was in July, and it just didn't do well because of the heat. I mean, we were really hot in July. Let's take a look at some of these peppers. These are gonna be gone very soon. So I'm gonna have to get out here and harvest some. I picked some yesterday. Most of these in this area here, well, this whole row here is just about ornamentals. Got some interesting ones. This is the cilantro, it's kind of gone crazy. I'm gonna have to harvest that and freeze, freeze it. Although I don't need to completely harvest all of it because cilantro is very cold hardy. It's made it through the winter here several times. The peas are ready to pick just about. I think they are ready. And we've got some blooms there that probably won't have time to produce peas. Some of these peppers over here have lots of peppers on them. This is a kind of a neat looking one here. That's one of my crosses. It's a little different than some of its siblings, so I'm gonna probably keep seed from that. There's a variegated version of the Midwest Midnight. It's kind of cool looking. I'm gonna to have to har also harvest these carrots here. Well, I don't have to, but I probably will. We'll be picking what we have left on the sun sugar and the sun gold over there. I did a little experimenting on late planting. This one I planted in the, or these beans I planted in the third week of July, and they're not really gonna have enough time to do much good. But the ones over here, I planted in the first week of July, and we've got quite a few beans off of these. Uh, some of these are a little bit too large, and that's because I'm gonna just leave the beans we have on now to dry and save seeds from. Here's a look at some pole beans that we recently harvested. Most of these are rattlesnake, but a few of them are Cherokee Trail of Tears mixed in. Along with the pole beans, we also had some bush beans to harvest. These are mostly red swan. On this day, we harvested some pole beans and some bush beans mixed. Some of the ones on top are dragon tongue bush beans, and most of the pole beans are rattlesnake. There are a few other types of bush beans mixed in. Here's a look at the Midwest Midnight Orange. I think it's pretty cool looking. I picked quite a few peppers off of it or it would look a lot better. Here's a bunch of chunky sweet peppers that I picked one day. Those are a cross between a korbaki and an Aconcagua. I've also been harvesting some peppers to save seeds from, and those ones right in the middle are a cross between a Corbaki and a Jimmy Nardello. Those are very good. I grew four of them, and the ones that I saved there are from the one plant that tastes the best. And there's a giant bunch of mint that I started from one cutting. The cucumbers are done. These are China Jade. I saved one there for seeds. I might save seeds on those too. I probably won't need all those, but while I'm at it, I might as well do it, I guess. The late China Jade cucumbers that I planted came in really handy. The earlier ones have been gone for quite a while now. We got probably close to a couple of dozen late ones. If you're interested in knowing how to save cucumber seeds, they have kind of a 
gelatinous substance that surrounds the seed and there's an easy way to get rid of that and have nice clean seeds. I'll put a link to a video I did down below. We'll probably need to harvest a bunch of this variegated basil and freeze some of it. And we used some of it early to make a bunch of pesto and that stuff was really good. The sweet basil's getting flowers all over it. I don't know if it'll have time to produce seeds, but we'll find out. There's kind of an interesting looking mutant pepper, lots of peppers on it. I just wish they had seeds in the peppers because I can't save seeds if there aren't any. There's some parsley growing in here. Got some beets that are ready to harvest. I need to get that done before it frosts. Here we have some even later beets. They have some small roots on them, but nothing to brag about for sure. Then in this bag we have some lettuce and some leafy greens. In this one we have some leafy greens. I don't know if they'll have time to do it much good, even though some of those are pretty cold hardy. One of my favorite crosses from this year is the Midwest Juanita. It's a beautiful plant and the peppers taste pretty good with mild heat, which is a good combination, I think. We have a couple of peanut plants over here. I'll have to dig up soon. So I'm gonna have a busy week before the first potential frost, trying to get some of this stuff harvested. This Rosella purple is pretty well diseased now, finally in October. I'm gonna end up having to pick some of these green and let them ripen indoors. For those of you who aren't familiar with my bananas, these are Musa Basju and they're a cold hardy banana. Uh, they'll make it through our winters here pretty easily. I have first, the first couple of years I covered them, but last year I didn't cover them at all and they still made it through the winter as well as the rosella purple. We have this dark striped micro over here. It's even got some ripe ones that are ready to pick. It's kind of a cool looking little plant because of all the blooms on it. Of course, those will never have time to produce tomatoes, but if we had more time, we'd have more tomatoes. Look at all the blooms on this thing. These are the tomatoes that were left on the Sun Sugar and several of the Sun Gold Volunteers. We also had a few peas on top. This is an ornamental I've been calling Purple Squat. It ripens to red and I've eaten quite a few of these already. It's the only ornamental that I really like to eat much of at all. It's I would consider it to be the best tasting ornamental that I've ever had. Let us know if your garden's still growing. And if you're just now finding this channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.